Hello randomies, this is your boy Gizmo GX and welcome to the finale of the 4 PV series. So if you guys have not already checked out the other three episodes that are uploaded on the channel, then definitely go ahead and check them out before you go on to this video. Because the other three videos, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it was amazing. At least when I was hearing it on the playback, this is the first time ever. You know, I say this a lot in the channel, so if you've been sticking around, y'all know I say this a lot. It's like, yo. This video is like I could be very proud of it now hearing on this series on the playback for the first time again I can officially say that this is the best type of commentary I've ever done you know there is solo versus you know that's a separate series but in terms of a solo series uh, with your boy recording on, on solo I think this is by far my best type of content I've ever made on the channel I'm gonna be honest so definitely go ahead and check out the other three if you haven't already but before I go ahead and start this video I just want to give a real quick shout outs to Monferno shout outs to that man he has been commenting on every single episode of this series I I appreciate it man I just want you to know that I just want you to know that that I appreciate it that I look at the comments I comment or, or I am a comment I reply to all messages and I believe I, I think I did reply to rising fireblaze which is another shout out that I want to give because my boy commented on episode one so I don't want to leave any minor comments left without being said or mentioned so I, I do look at the comments so I just wanted to say I appreciate y'all for commenting and all the likes and also if you haven't already subscribed what are you doing subscribe and hit that notification bell because i am planning to do more 4 pv series on the content relating to now i'm going to try to open it up as i did mention that the theme of this series was basically go on past battles that i've yet to go ahead and upload to the channel but i want to breach a little bit farther and go on to other battles maybe go on reviews or kind of do like a little i don't know a type of series where i can go ahead and take a league on and try to give my inner thoughts and perspectives you know like highlights type of thing that's what i'm trying to go for i don't know what y'all think maybe i'll do that maybe not i don't know i just want to hear your feedback in the comments section below if that's some content that you'd be interested in here from my perspective i don't know let me know again so but with that being said let's go into the matchup uh for a little bit more context of what's happening what's this and yeah and if this is the first video that you're watching of the 4 pv series real quick context on the last episode i was talking about that being the season finale or should i say the ending of the regular season of the ibvgc and in that video which was in part three uh, legit i think i uploaded it yesterday so uh, of the time of this episode going up so i did record this yesterday i mean i did uh, that part went up yesterday my bad and i talked about how i made it to playoffs and it was because of that match in specifically don't won't say which match is specifically so you you're gonna have to go ahead and check that out uh but anyways uh long story short i made it to playoffs and we're here and we're facing our first opponent being kaira Kawhi, aka the coach of the lansing leafions once again you know i find this super super ironic i have to defeat my first week opponent who destroyed me utterly now going into this first week of playoffs let me just say it was go broke or, or what was the term go big or go home that that's pretty much what it is because Kyogre's team just countered me so good there's no opening for me the only way i had a chance of winning going into this battle was hoping for the best and hoping i can outsmart the man the man who has one of the toughest teams toughest combos being the kingler and the thunderous man i i think i I had a decent chance, you know, going to this match. So that's what I went with. I went with a little bit of faith. I, I added in that little salt. The salt being the th anime theme being Darling and the Franks. So if you guys have not checked it out, then go ahead and check it out. It's a very, very etchy show. Uh, at least that's my opinion anyways. It's a very etchy show. So if etchy is your theme and you like etchy stuff, then you're going to enjoy Darling and the Franks. It's also a romance. So if you like a... A good rom-com definitely go ahead and check that out you know whenever you feel like it uh but that's uh, the purpose of this video is not to convince you to watch the anime the purpose is to go a little bit into <laughs> a little bit into detail of this matchup so as this is a post commentary sort so yeah anyways my strategy for this first matchup against kyogre was basically hoping that the entei helping hand combo with the alchemy would have you know worked 
But unfortunately, that did not come into fruition as I just got bought in, man. You know, that crit from the Liquidation Kingler, it totally did matter. It totally did matter. <laughs> uh, it jokes, jokes. It did not. It did not matter. That Whether it was a crit or non-crit, one-shot Zentei. You know, that's how powerful Kingler is. And I believe it was Life Orb. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was Life Orbed. So even if I had Assault Vested, I was a dead dog. <laughs> Legit, I was a dead dog. I died. So what I was doing for the rest of this matchup was trying not to give too much information to my opponent. So that way, if I decided to bring the Slowbro coin into the next round, I would be okay in him thinking that I was just offensive and not that much of a threat. That was the idea plan and looking back, I think that was kind of stupid on my part. I could have done something different. The fact that had I gone for the trick room here, Latias might have done a little bit more kills and I wouldn't look that bad. <laughs> Considering how I did in the regular season, it almost shows that I had no improvement, but I did. I did. I did have quite a few bit improvements. I had a built up team differently with the idea that I was going to go ahead and ham, go ham on Nick. But that did not happen in the first round. But now going into the second round, that was something where I had, I needed to, you know, think things through a little bit more. So while Nick is taking his a little bit, you know, his sweet time, you know, nah, nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to roast my boy, you know, cause I take my time. <laughs> oh man, you know, if someone could roast me, I, I, I really would appreciate it, man. Someone roast me and I'll look at that video and make a reaction and I'm gonna laugh it off. So anyways, uh, yeah, going into the second round, there was two, two, um, how would you say mental notes I was making to myself either. I go big and go for the trick room and have Slowbro lead off with the idea again thinking that he would not take Slowbro as a threat as I was just ice beaming with helping hand. That's all I really revealed. Or my other option was to go for a tailwind Latias and fight speed with speed. In other words, fire with fire. That's what I was trying to go for. So at the end, I was like, you know, the tailwind strategy really is risky. It is a big risky move. And if I did manage to take advantage of the tailwind, then my other two mods being Serena and Mammal Swine that I decided to go and bring along, since they're all invested into attack, had they had that tailwind up, I definitely would have made a big, big, big difference. And from me winning this match, and losing them losing this match so again our opponent brought in kingler and thunderous and i think this was a pretty much obvious play that they were going to lead off and knowing that this is why i decided to go ahead and lead off with these two so i go ahead and hope for the best i went for the tailwind and my mindset at this point was if i go for tailwind i i gotta i mean my mindset was like i have to go for tailwind and if Latias dies, then this is GG's. I, I, I'm gonna be honest, if this is GG's. Like if Latias goes down, no one else on the squad would have, well, I would have been able to pick up a couple of kills, but I wouldn't have 100% guaranteed the win at all for this round anyways. So there goes the first move on Latias. Am I gonna get double teamed? Am I gonna get double teamed? Yes, yes. <laughs> Yo, he, he punished me hard. You know, he punished me. So at this point, I lost Latias and there was not much else I could do. So now seeing that that happened, I had two choices. Do I go ahead and continue with the match or do I forfeit? What do y'all think before I go ahead and decide in a few moments? You know, let me know in your head or in the comments. If you're watching this live, then let me know in the comments and what you guys were thinking. So again, here I'm deciding, you know, all right, do I want to forfeit or do I want to continue on? That, that was what my mind process was like. Uh, I hope you guys put down the, your, your answers before you see the results. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much what I decided to go ahead and do was forfeit because there was nothing much that I could have done. Now, I did forfeit, and unfortunately, I lost, and that pretty much gets me out of the playoffs. But either way, it's GG's to Kyra Kawhi, because even though I am salty, my boy had a tough team, and he had one of the terrifying teams that I had to go up this season. 
and because he decimated you know his decimation is admirable I, I, I will say the least but also one thing I do want to point out before I end off this episode is that there was uh, another scenario where I where we did continue or where we continue where we left off after the forfeit and hopefully Kyoko Kawhi recorded that half on his episode so I'm gonna link the video to that point of view in the description below with the hopes that he did include it in his episode so but if in case he didn't uh long story short we continue where we left off after the forfeit. Uh, uh, what was it? Mammals went picked up the kill on Thunderous, and Kingler did the liquidation on Entei, from what I remember. And this is where I found out that in the first ever battle, if you guys remember, I got liquidated crit on the Entei by the Kingler, and that's where I was like, did it really matter? And going into the redo of that match of the second round, I realized that you know. The, whether it was a crit or not, it still one shot at me. Even an assault vested, I believe I wasn't invested into defense or HP at all. But either ways, it one shot at me, which was crazy enough. Now, once Entei went down and Thunders went down, uh, the next monster were sent out were Serena on my side and Sogaleo fused with Necrozma was sent out by my opponent. And at that point, I was just a sitting duck because everyone, uh, the Kingler was already plus one. Kills off my Mammal Swine with the liquidation, and I, there was nothing left for your boy. There was nothing left for your boy. I think I got double teamed. I don't remember that section of the video that much, but I think I either either I got double teamed by both the Sogaleo and the liquid and and the liquidation, and the Kingler following that following turn, or I just got bodied by that Sogaleo that same turn. But either ways, I lost, and it's proof that either ways, if had I not forfeited, I would have lost either ways. But in the future, I'm not going to click the forfeit button again. And the reason is because I don't want people to think that it was bad sportsmanship. It's just I didn't see no point continuing with the battle. But I see the point why we did it again. You know, player Pokemon death counts, kill counts, it matters in the league. So future future note already jotted into my head but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this series hope you enjoy everything enjoy the iba vgc content and let me know what you guys think about the series in the comment section below and if you guys enjoyed it smash that like button comment down oh actually not comment down below i already said that make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all future content on the channel i'm continue i'm deciding to continue on with the 4pv series as uh it's normal series you know because it's it's sounding catchy now i'm saying it for the fourth time and it's super catchy in my ears but anyways i don't want to go in too much of a tangent because it's already a long video as it is so this has been your host gizmo gx and i'll see you on the next video that i decide to do on the channel peace